Uh, I think uh, what you see in children today is that they don't feel attached to anyone, they feel homeless, they are extremely stressed, they get a lot of uh, stress-related disorders because they change caretakers all the time, they get eating disorders, they get uh, general stress, they get low self-esteem because children who don't have a caretaker, they, uh, they lose their self-esteem, they don't think they are worth anything and they have uh, problems like uh, cutting themselves. I think all these uh, new problems are related to, uh, to the way we live now and the way we bring up children now. So there's one thing which is almost impossible to give a small child today, and that is uh, having the same adult caretakers all day long. Okay, all we have left is the grandparents. Um, so, uh, every age has its problems. In the old days, uh, children used to die from starvation and disease, uh, but now we have this problem. Uh, our age has this uh, early attachment problem, I think, and that generates a lot of uh, troubles for children. Oh, I think uh, the kind of children you see now, they are, um, they are spoiled, but um, they develop very quickly. Perhaps because they have... Today you have no function when you are a child. When I was a child, I was uh, put to work. I, I had to gather fruit, I had to hand out newspapers. Uh, my sister, uh, she used to help her mother from she was like three, four, five years old. So they had a function and a role. But today you are just put in some place and you don't have a, a function in society. So why be a child? So children try to grow up as quickly as possible. And I think the children I see, they are usually... Uh, in one they, way they become mature when they are young because they are very intelligent. Much more intelligent than we were when I was a child. You know, they're brainy. But they are insecure and uh, they are sometimes emotionally immature. And they don't know how to cope with, uh, with uh, pain, with suffering, with problems, because their parents took all that away. So, uh, it's become another kind of uh, uh, emotional development that, that children have today. Um, and um, the way of being social is very different because when, when young people socialize today, they do it on the network and they are a member of maybe 30 or 50 groups at one time. And they surf all the time between groups and they say, hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye. <laughs> I was brought up in maybe two or three groups and uh, who, where people stayed all their life. So, uh, I don't know what you could call that, uh, the surfing personality, maybe? <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's, it's different from what it used to be and it gives some other problems than, than we were used to. And maybe our way of thinking and our methods of treatment are designed for the old society and not for the way children live today. Maybe psychoanalysis and all the other theories uh, were very functional when you look at uh, children 30 years ago, but perhaps they, they are not adjusted to the reality of today. <laughs> so, uh, for example, uh, one thing which, which is uh, very clear is uh, if you look at uh, young criminal people, who have lost uh, their parental group and who live in gangs and so on. That's, that has become a very common problem. Uh, but nobody, oh, that's not true, but, but uh, the theories about it and the interventions and the way we, uh, we try to resolve it is not very sophisticated because we still, uh, for example, have the individual treatment angle and we still, uh, we still uh, think that the, these young people are the problem. 
Maybe they are just a symptom of what is going on in society. Maybe they are just a symptom of what, uh, what they lacked when they were children. So a lot of intervention programs, uh, they start when the children start making problems. Or maybe they should start when the child is a baby. And maybe it should start in our way of thinking of how to organize uh, early child care. Um, and the way we organize society. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And in 20 or 30 years, uh, the mothers have uh, disappeared from the family. And I'm not blaming anyone, it's, it's just what happens when you go from a rural society to an industrial society. But it completely changed the way that uh, children attach to adults. You know, this, this morning I was sitting in a cafe in Lugano, and... Um, I sat there for 20 minutes, seeing people go around, uh, coming out of their shops, and I thought, uh, dove sono i bambini? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see one child in 20 minutes. When I was uh, 17, I, uh, I made the auto stop through Italy, because I wanted to see the world, and there were children all over. Children, children, children. Two years ago I was in Rome and uh, I was educating some uh, young Italian psychologists and uh, they were all uh, around 35 and they were all living with their mother and father and uh, they had no children because uh, it's so expensive and uh, you are in an education. So in all of Europe uh, the birth rate has fallen from uh, here to there in uh, that's one consequence in 30 years. When you are around six months, you start thinking, this must be mummy. I can recognize her. And the one with the green face, that must be daddy, okay? Uh, and then when you are six months or maybe one year, bang, you go to a daycare or someone else is looking after you than your parents. And then when you start thinking, this is a nice daycare, I like this, uh, way of caring for babies, bang, you go to a kindergarten. So what happens to children today is that they, uh, from they are very, very young, they change caretakers many times during the day. What does that mean for attachment? I don't know. Uh, I think uh, what you see in children today is that they don't feel attached to anyone, they feel homeless, they are extremely stressed. They get a lot of uh, stress-related disorders because they change caretakers all the time. They get eating disorders, they get uh, general stress, they get low self-esteem because children who don't have a caretaker, they, uh, they lose their self-esteem. They don't think they are worth anything. And they have uh, problems like uh, cutting themselves. I think all these uh, new problems are related to uh, to the way we live now and the way we bring up children now. So there's one thing which is almost impossible to give a small child today, and that is uh, having the same adult caretakers all day long. Okay, all we have left is the grandparents. Um, so uh, every age has its problems. In the old days, uh, children used to die from starvation and disease, uh, but now we have this problem. Uh, our age has this uh, early attachment problem, I think, and that generates a lot of uh, troubles for children. <laughs>